Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kristen here. I'm a licensed esthetician, a freelance makeup artist, and I'm a mom and an entrepreneur. On my channel, you can expect to see anything from beauty related things, lifestyle. Um, lately, I've been doing this series. If you haven't checked it out already, of course, make sure I link down all the other videos before, but this is actually part five of this series. I've been doing a series called Beauty Room from Scratch, where I've taken just an empty blank office room and I've so far made it into a pretty awesome space to take clients to work on my business if you guys want to see those videos I'll make sure I link that link them down below um, check out the whole series if you'd like I think it's pretty cool to see the room go from nothing to what it is now and I'm super excited to continue to show you what I'm doing in just a few days so today's Monday my grand opening is on Saturday so just in a few days here it's really crunch time it's time to really get down to the nitty-gritty of things um, today I built a dresser from Ikea so you guys are gonna see some of that I'm also gonna talk to you about how I'm preparing for grand opening and some of the tips I have for you um, for your grand opening I'm not gonna do anything crazy for it just you know have some people come check it out uh, during a certain period of time and so make sure you watch to the very end because I'm gonna be giving you some really great tips to getting your clientele growing and going as part of your grand opening. If you want to see an update on the room and see me build a dresser from Ikea and then here's some tips and tricks about your grand opening then make sure you continue watching. Alright guys, so I'm here at my studio, I'm in my car because right now I just feel like my room is so chaotic. Just being in there kind of stresses me out, so I would rather film right now and talk to you guys before I go in there. I have a dresser from Ikea to build. I've, I built a, a table last week. If you haven't checked out my last video, you'll see me build my, my table, put up some flower decals on the wall. It's pretty cool. But yeah, today that's what I'm going to be doing. I have a pretty limited amount of time. My son is with my friend right now who is so, so gracious to offer to help, help me out this week because right now it's just go time. I only have a few days before. <laughs> Before. people are gonna come check it out until I have my very first client it is actually on Saturday as well I'm planning on doing a facial and some waxing so I gotta be set up I gotta be ready guys I don't know my energy is so like low today and I just feel stressed out I had a headache earlier I had to take some ibuprofen and I don't I don't take medication like that so it was pretty annoying um, comment down below give me some encouragement I just feel like I need it right now I need some positivity so if you can give me some of that comment down below um, also really quickly I've noticed that I hit 80 subscribers <clears throat> and even though that seems like such a small amount of people really I mean in the YouTube world if you're starting from scratch and you're nobody like me that's a big step you know my goal is to reach 100 subscribers by the end of September yes I've written that goal down um, so if you guys can get me there tell your friends tell other estheticians you know tell other makeup artists you know to subscribe to my channel I promise you you're going to be glad that you did because I'm gonna be sharing all the things that I've done over the last three or four years uh, to grow my business to get myself to where I'm at to be able to open a studio and feel confident enough with my experience and my reputation in the community uh, I'm gonna be giving you guys all of those ins and outs as soon as I get this studio up and running I'm gonna be making videos like that all the time but love it if you get me to those 100 subscribers also if you're new if you're a new subscriber to my channel introduce yourself talk to me down in the comments I want to know who I'm speaking to I want to get to know you these videos are for you and so um, introduce yourself tell me what you hope to get out of my channel and so that I could cater my videos more to you even if it's just one person I don't care if you guys want to see it I want to do it so comment down below make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and yeah so so let's go and get started on this IKEA dresser. I'm just gonna hop right into it. I'm not gonna do any talking. So yeah, I'm gonna build this dresser. <laughs>
the finished product. Woo! That was, that wasn't too bad actually. Yeah, so here we go. The dresser is done. And now the, this place, if you guys don't know, has parking fees, so I'm like already over my time limit, so I gotta get out of here. Um. All right, y'all, so I'm in my car. I finished the dresser. I don't know, guys. I Maybe because it's Monday or something, but I'm just exhausted. I feel stressed out that opening is literally in a few days and I feel like there's still so much to do thankfully I finished that dresser today that was like the biggest thing I needed to get done because that is what I'm going to be putting a lot of my supplies inside of and everything that is going to go in there has just been out in that room laying everywhere and every single time I step in that room I feel really like stressed looking at it so I'm going to be back tomorrow and that's when I'm going to be packing more stuff and putting things away and throwing trash away because there's so much freaking trash. I can't even stand it. But yeah, I'm just being real with you guys. I'm just so like burnt out right now. I'm tired of building stuff. I'm tired of getting ready for this. So, you know, whatever. Enjoy the journey, I guess. So I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'll probably be in a better mood tomorrow just because now I'm like, okay, I have this dresser done. I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll continue this video. Good morning. Good morning. It's, I was about to say it's day two. No, it's damn near a month that I've been working on this. Uh, I'm back here in the studio. It's pretty early. Excuse the bare face. I decided today is not the day to spend time on my makeup because I have way too much stuff to do. And today my aunt is watching my son, so I gotta take advantage of every second I have without him so that I can get stuff done because it's crunch time. This is, this is the week to get everything done. So what I'm gonna do right now is um, I just noticed that the dumpsters in the parking lot were empty so I need to take advantage and I need to just get rid of like a lot of trash so just to give you an idea of what I'm working with this is my reality so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of all this trash right now and then we'll um, revisit this dresser I need to secure it to the wall my grandpa let me borrow his drill right there so I've never messed with the drill before so I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> uh, but hopefully it, I was watching some YouTube videos I'll make sure to link those down below if you guys want to check them out uh, because I've never used a drill before in my life but I have to do it and I can't wait until somebody can come help me so yeah that's kind of the agenda today I'm just gonna start cleaning up this room getting things in, in their rightful place and throwing away stuff so um, yeah I'll prop you guys up and you can watch me work my ass off <laughs> So I got rid of a lot of the trash, as you saw. Um, I have much more to get rid of, but I didn't want to be that asshole that fills up the dumpster all the way. And I forgot my box cutter, so everything was not broken down, so I feel kind of bad. But um, finally it made some space. Yes, there's bare floor. But, um... Yeah, there's just a lot more that needs to get done. Um, I think I'm gonna try to tackle this dresser situation. Like I said, I've never drilled holes in a wall before, so yeah, I'm kinda nervous. But we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna be okay. All right, so I think what it says I need to do is I'm gonna take this drawer out and there's like these little backings I don't even know what they're called. And so I need to just mark on the wall where they are, and then that's where I'm gonna be drilling holes. Ah! An outlet here, so I know in the videos, I was told many times in the videos not to drill above 
or to the sides of it. So I'm going to make sure wherever I drill a hole, it's not in any alignment with where the outlet is. Okay, so I marked where those holes are. And I think from what I saw in the videos, I need to drill a hole in there first and do it to the length of the screw and then put one of those wall whatever I don't even know what they're called these thingies these things plug I think it's a wall plug oh and the screw is supposed to go inside of this when it's in the wall So, and this is, oh, I learned this. This is called a washer, and it's supposed to go under like this. So this is how it's going to be in the wall. Put the washer underneath, and then through the wall plug, whatever mount thing. Drill. And, uh, here's the instructions. So let's see how big of a hole I need to make. Can you see me? Okay. Oh, drill a one eighth inch three millimeter diameter pilot hole into the wood studs. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna pretend like there's no wood there and I'm gonna do an eight millimeter hole. So on this, what it is. I think these are in inches. So eight millimeter would be five sixteenths. And there's no five sixteenths. <laughs> ah! Let's see what this one has. Aha! Five sixteenths. Yikes. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so it says to like look at the length of the screw and the drill bit and look at how deep of a hole you need to do. You compare them like this so you know how deep of a hole you need to make so said they said to put a piece of tape just to mark how deep I need to go let me bring you guys closer Not even on. Oh my god. Okay, how do I even turn this on? One, two, what does that mean? I might need to call my grandpa. I mean, I need to call my grandpa. Hold on. turn this thing on. I'm squeezing the trigger and it's not going. 
Is it like on the safety feature or something that I need to take it off? Uh, let's see. On the hand, on the seat. Can I FaceTime you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So these, okay. right? What do I need to do yeah. with them? It's like not going all the way. And you push those yellow buttons either way, it doesn't work. Oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> do I do it to the right or the left? Because you're putting it in. It okay, so left. Put, put, it, put it in. And don't, don't squeeze the trigger. Okay. Just so it clicks. Okay. Okay, now it's tight. Okay. And it has this at the top. Yeah, that's so that it would, how, how strong you want it. Okay. So what, what's the numbers on the on the front? Up to what? I put it on five. What's the highest? The highest is twenty. No, oh, maybe put like ten or twelve in. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. All right. <laughs> we'll see You're what happens. Set. Okay. Thanks, Goongi. I'll call okay. you if I need anything okay. else. <laughs> okay. Be, be careful. I will. <laughs> okay, bye. bye, bye. <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys. I'm going to do this. And what's cool is that it actually has like an eye beam built into it so you could tell whether you're doing it straight or not. It says to go slow. Okay, I'm making sure that it's straight. I'm kind of pushing too, because it's freaking hard. God. Holes in the wrong place. What? How did this happen? Frick. <sighs> Wonderful. Well, you know what? I'm tempted to just do one side. <laughs> This is fun, huh, guys? <laughs> oh my god, how?
How did I make the wrong measurement? I think because I moved it. You know what, I might just drill it so that just the screw can go in. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I just made another hole just for the screw to go in. We'll see if that works. So now I'm just putting the screw with the washer. the washer in it and I'm just gonna screw drive that in. Guys, I'm sweating. Thank God I didn't wear makeup today. Hell no. I'm trying to look cute for this. Actually, I don't even know if I'm gonna screw in this side yet because I wanna bring an extension cord and plug it in at the outlet right there so that I can use that outlet. <sighs> okay, so what am I gonna do now? I have some more trash to throw away. I need to unbox a bunch of stuff. I have products, I have supplies, towels, everything that I need to just organize. And then what else? I do need to build this one cart. If I have time to do that, I will. For now, uh, I need to unload things into this baby because that's what I built it for. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna get to unpacking stuff, um, getting stuff cleaned up. I'll prop you guys up and time lapse this because it's really just, it's not really exciting. <laughs> Um, I did a lot of work just now. I put stuff away in the drawers and I'm not going to tell you exactly what I have in there yet because that will be for the final reveal. Um, but yeah, I got rid of like a ton of the trash. Things are just starting to get in their rightful place and I'm really happy about it. Um, I only put a couple hours on the meter and so I need to go. I did that on purpose because I knew if I didn't I wouldn't eat. So I'm gonna go get some lunch and come back here and see what I can do. Maybe I'll build that little cart thingy. Um, it's not a cart. I don't even know what it's called. Um, you'll see what it is eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the progress going on right now. Um, but yeah, I'm starving. So I need to feed myself and then I'll be back in here. But um, yeah, maybe I'll check in with you guys when I'm eating or something so we can catch up and let you guys know what I'm kind of working on behind the scenes. Like I said, make sure you watch to the very end of the video because that's when I'm gonna be talking about what I'm doing to get ready for the grand opening. And uh, I got some cool tips for that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna grab some lunch. Don't know what I'm gonna eat, but we'll figure it out. All right, so I ended up getting Ike's sandwiches. I've actually never been there before, but I've heard about them. It's just down the street. So. Guess this is turning into a mukbang. I haven't done one of those in a minute. 
Let me know if you guys like those videos. I feel like they get a good amount of views. And I like doing them, obviously. I love to eat, so. Ooh, yummy. Let me sanitize my hands first. Be safe, guys. It's so funny how this whole pandemic literally could have been prevented if people like actually wash their hands is that's the root of the problem people are nasty <laughs> i said it you thought it all right let's see what's up i remember when i used to be super like i'm never gonna eat in my car because i don't want crumbs everywhere probably once i get a really nice one even though I should act like I have a nice one, because I do, but, you know, once I get a Sadie's or an Audi, like, that's going to be why. Mm. This is turkey, avocado, and Havarti cheese. I've just been jotting things down in my phone that I randomly think of that I need to get for the room. Um, so some of the stuff I've been working on behind the scenes are things like the um, client intake forms, the COVID intake forms, um, photo release forms. Um, I'll link down below where I got it from. I got it from Etsy. This girl just does all these forms for estheticians and so I just, you literally you buy them and then you can download them right away. So I need to make sure I print those out. Let me write that down. And yeah, I've just been writing stuff down to get at Target or Costco, wherever I decide to get them. I guess maybe in the final reveal, it's gonna, that's gonna be, it's not just gonna be your typical room tour because I feel like a lot of the room tours that I've been seeing are just like, oh, these are my decorations, this is what I have. Like, mine's gonna be a detailed, like, consensus and list of the things that I have in there and why I have them in there. Make sure you continue watching my series, subscribe to my channel because uh, once I do the final room tour, I'm gonna give you guys all that, those details, which I feel like a lot of the other, uh, a lot of the other room tour videos lack in. Right now, I'm really just focused on getting the room usable because those little tiny other details can be done later. Um, so right now, right off the bat, I know I need to finish putting together that cart that I was telling you about, the uh, chandelier that I got because I really want that to be like a really cute accent in the room. Um, what else? Obviously, I need to clean the floors. Um, I need to, yeah. There's a lot of things. There's still things coming in on Am from Amazon this week. I'm gonna be doing a Target run tomorrow for sure and probably go to Costco with my son. But, um, I'll probably sit down and have a little chat with you guys about what I'm having prepared right now for the grand opening. There's some materials that I got, um, you know, little, little things that I'm gonna have for guests when they come uh, to see my space for the first time. Yeah, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish, you know, eating here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, you know, do what I can in the next, I think I have maybe like an hour, yeah, like an hour left of uh, time to be here. So I'm just gonna kinda do little stuff and get things cleaned up, get things in places that they need to be. And uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and I'll wrap up this video. So yeah, thanks for watching me. Um, do stuff for the first time today <laughs> oh my gosh i can't wait to watch back that video i'm gonna crack up at myself um uh, but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow what's up guys it's wednesday and i'm in the car right now devin's in the back so if you hear any noises that's why so i did some editing last night and i realized the video is already getting kind of long so, and don't hate me for doing this, because I know I said to watch the very end to get some tips and tricks about your um, getting ready for grand opening. And I'll still give you one of those tips, but I am going to continue this in the next part of this series, um, which will be the 
grand opening and the official room tour. Don't hate me, but yes, I'm gonna continue this video in the next one. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing to prepare for grand opening. And like I said, I'll give you one of the tips right now, and that is I went on Vistaprint and I ordered um, some referral cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand out referral cards at the grand opening and I'll show you what those look like. I really hope those come in on time because here's another thing that I did that I will advise you to do is to not print your menus or anything until maybe two weeks before your grand opening because I printed mine ahead of time and I ended up changing things and adding new, you know, new services. So I had to completely throw away those menus and those cards and I was really sad because I did spend a good little chunk of money on those so I reordered some I had to get it rush shipped so I had to pay even more for that and it's supposed to come on Friday so I will show you what those look like what the referral cards look like and how I'm gonna do that and how that's gonna work and I'll show you my menus as well so make sure when you're getting ready for this week that you have some sort of material to be able to give people that come to your grand opening set that they so that they can start spreading the word about your business and your opening and what you offer and whatnot so that is my little tip and I'll continue talking about how to get ready for your grand opening in my next video so make sure you tune in I will be posting that Sunday Normally I post Sundays at 11 a.m., but I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit more time and do it Sunday night. Um, let's say seven o'clock. Yeah, come back to my channel at 7 p.m. on Sunday where you will see my grand opening and the official room tour of my beauty space, my beauty room from scratch. It'll be done, it'll be finished. Bless you. Yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to see that and as always, like this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.